obviously until recently until I played and then we were, uh, I was in Warung and I was speaking to some guys, uh, Leo Janeiro, and um, telling me about it was a beautiful next to the beach and stuff and I was like ah, and then I heard it was more of a, a hippie kind of chant festival before and so I was like ah, oh, you know what, that's really cool for me because it means that they all kind, of, kind of people are there because they want to be in the nature and they want to experience music rather than just being, you know, in a festival in a city. Like, those festivals are great, don't get me wrong, but this is sometimes something special like this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, I was, it's interesting to kind of gauge what to play. When I come to uh, countries that I, I don't know so well, I only come to Brazil once back to the year, so to know sometimes what to play in different areas, how educated the crowd is, and stuff, sometimes it's a bit difficult, but, um, you know, for me, I always try doing some uh, bass that's like interesting and uh, dirty, you know, and that's what kind of works here again, still, you know. I was in LA last year and I was making a song and um, had to drag about. I felt like it needed some identity and uh, I just been recording. I've been looking at stars and I, was reco I recorded going planets, spaceships, myself. I was like, it hey, needs something more female. It's like, like the thing. and uh, I was speaking with Daniela because they're doing an album for us and uh, I said, oh, why don't you try? And she sent me a bunch of vocals and some really cool stuff, but it just felt like because it was planet spaceship, the countdown, and then the stars constellation. I took the bits to kind of write the right song. Um, we're gonna work, work on a new, some new material in January, and then maybe try to do a tour before the summer or sometime around that time. It's just really difficult because everyone is, you know, I'm here, Lee Foster's here, Infinity guys are there, Ali's doing an album. It's like to try and coordinate everything. And also, when we do the live show, you know, it's a, it's a quite a big production. There's 13 people that are special lights on the show and, and on all the it's all analog and it's like, so it's difficult to have the budget to do everything to make it right. But I definitely want to come do it in Brazil though. Working with people, I don't ever try to, we don't ever try to control the situation, you know. For example, I knew Ali Love for 10 years, or 8 years in London, but it was at the right moment we became friends and then we were, so like, it's just people we know and respect that we know. Rosie Murphy, um, Seth Sebi, who works with uh, Lucas T, uh, together, and they make a project together, so, and just Rosie Murphy is the partner, the girlfriend of this guy, so, the connection. Uh, Egyptian lover, I work with. He was just I worked with him on my old album, and that was uh, yeah. So we worked with him before, and we had the presentation. It's just at the end of the day, we're just friends making music, you know. And for me, it's important to like someone you know. Ah, oh, cool. Well, you know, that's that's how it works. More than just like okay, I want to do this, uh, I want to work with that person, you know. It's just it's all just natural. Patrick Topping has some really cool new stuff that he's just sent me. Uh, he's an artist on a creation, but like, uh, you know what? It's really difficult for me to say the name because my favorite records are on vinyl and they just like put so much information. But there's a, a really cool record by Gene Hunt, it's on a vinyl only album, playing a disco record. Great.